summary time. What have we got? We've got a plastic pop bottle, got four CDs for wheels, milk bottle tops for the hubs, barbecue skewers for the axles. The electric motor has come out of a solar butterfly stick ornament is what it's called. Um, I've extended the wires from it onto this peg. The peg's got the wires wrapped around the inside so it makes contact with this button cell. Uh, back axle or the back wheel I've put a polystyrene disc on it so that's now a big pulley so the gearing is very small well just the shaft at the front to a big pulley at the back so it means a low power motor can turn a big wheel easily and that's it that was for Yvonne Patawaran sorry if I don't get your name right but uh, there you go you wanted an electric car I shall probably go on and see if I can convert this one to solar power just to see if it can run it with a single solar cell. Okay, a little bit late in the day, sun's going down, just got a bit of sunlight coming into my kitchen. So, cover it over. Okay. Not the fastest of my solar cars, but it does work. I made this electric car today for a project for Yvonne Patawaran. And I really wanted to make it as a solar powered car. So I've now put the solar panel back on, front, on it. And the sun's gone down. There's a little bit of sun left. Just enough to get the motor turning. Doesn't particularly like the knots in my rubber band. it works. If you want the build details you'll have to watch the other video. This is just to demonstrate that it does actually work with solar power. And I think if I'd finished a bit earlier when the sun was still up it'd go a bit better.